this uh, front. I'm in the front view right now. And you want to be in the front view because the roof trusses are usually, you know, running uh, uh, the length of the beam. So I'm just going to snap on, make sure I'm on grid mode for now. And again, just do a line that represents the width of your warehouse, okay? Now, if you do one line, just let me take grid off so you can see it, and maybe make it a little bit, um, um, then you can add your mo modifier, in this case, sweep. And sweep is a really good modifier to do shapes. And the default is the angle shape, okay? It's a built-in shape. And we'll go back to uh, this view and view it in, um, in perspective. So again, we're doing a building a roof truss, or uh, floor truss, rather. And you're going to want to rotate this with the angle snap so that you have um, this roof truss, floor truss, rather. So floor, we'll call it floor truss angle, OK? Ang. So again, I can take this here, just show you some tricks. If you go mirror and go instance, OK? And mirror instance, and you add an offset, and make sure it's the right uh, direction. A mirror instance will, so if you've got any changes in sizes, what's great about 3D is that I can go in here, if you make an instance, sorry, or make a change on the length and width of the truss, it changes. Let me make it a, a brighter color too, so uh, oh, it's too bright, darker color rather. Let's make a blues. So, uh, and I'm going to hit F4 so you can see the, there's actually a corner radius in here. So you can get really excellent detail. You can actually change the thickness of that. So the darker blue would be the right part of the uh, floor truss. And uh, so if we go look at a reference drawing again, let's go to my sign out here. Um, and if you search on the internet for a floor truss, you'll find... Um, a truss assembly like this. So you can see down here in the bottom, we'll just zoom in here, um, the, the angle, okay? So all we gotta do is the vertical. Now, um, just curious, if I'm gonna do uh, uh, both these in the vertical, um, you can actually do the same thing. I can do another mirror and then do uh, an instance and go up, okay, in the Make sure you get the right direction here in the ZX and go up. Whoops. Uh, mirror axis ZX. And go back up and move it along here. So that if I make any changes, I'm going to take my snap off here. That's always the problem. And that will um, solve that side and grab the light blue side, do the same thing. Add another mirror do and do another offset here and bring that back down then I've got my top version okay of these two to uh, let me see if I'm aligned here let's go into all the four views and uh, just bring these two over um, to match up now the top ones are always usually wider. I'm going to go back to the image to show you. See how you got to, because these one hangs over your beams, okay? These ones are usually hanging inside the, the beams or the, so usually, and you usually have a double support here for uh, your shear of that, so it doesn't shear at this point. They usually strengthen it at the corners. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to save this, this point, as the base um, floor truss and uh, go back to the perspective view so the only thing we need now uh, we need to make this line a bit larger so you can go in here and grab these vertices and bring them out okay um, but again this is an instance so you might have to collapse this okay um, to make it lar larger it affects both um, but anyways, for this point, we'll just keep it there. And then we're going to do some lines. So we're going to use a line tool. 
And what we're going to do is start doing the lines. If you look at the, uh, it starts out straight, an angle, then goes straight, and then goes into a 45 um, cycle. So it goes angled, okay, straight, and then it goes, you know, approximately a 45. Now you don't have to do all of them. Um, once you got it one started, you can actually use the line tools, spline tools, and copy. So you can go in here, grab the spline. Actually, I'm going to grab a few segments. Make sure these ones here. And I'm going to detach these. So detach in, uh, let's define it here. Detach and make it a clone. Call it, uh, uh, call it wire for now and I'm gonna make a clone of this by holding down my shift key I didn't do it right I'll just delete that and I'm gonna make a few copies of this okay now I should have deleted that one of course because now I have to go in there and edit each one of these and delete these segments but what I'm gonna do is take this here um, go into spline mode and I'm going to attach all the other splines in this I'll show you a little some tricks actually it's good I did that because then I can show you some things I'm going to attach these as multiple I'm going to show you a new thing I learned the other day which I haven't used yet and there's actually a really neat um, command let's see if it works for me today trim and you can click on this and it trims once these are all connected. So I'm going to make sure all these vertices here are welded using the well, um, weld command. Oops, grab those again. And they should weld together here. And fuse. Oop, I want to fuse them all together. Let's go with these here and fuse these. Fuse, fuse, fuse these together. Again, you could probably do this easier in uh, Illustrator or some other. But this is the one I wanted to show you. It's I just I just found out about this the other day, and I've been doing these blinds trim. Let's see if it works. Trim, click, click, click. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, it's a really neat tool called Trim. Now, to make a line renderable, you just click on the uh, um, rendering, enable and rendering, and there you've got your render um, of the actual wire that goes in between. It's a bit thick, let's bring it down. And you'd have to look at the dimensions, but there's your typical, let's go into, uh, smooth mode there's your roof truss or your floor truss rather and I would make you know these a little these are pretty high right now so I'd bring down the lengths adjust them and again that would be your roof your floor truss and then you can collapse all this I'm just gonna save this uh, to have as a as a roof truss and then you can collapse this as an edible poly and then attach that to everything that's in here. So now it's all one object. And what I would do is I'd say, freak that, I got half of it. I delete all the polygons or slice it maybe right here. Okay. I do a slice right through the center and just do a slice. And then you got a nice half. Go slice plane, go vertical, and then you're done. I'm just going to stop this.